Hey guys, hope you hear me loud and clear and see me as well. That's me, that's Marvis, and uh, I will talk a little bit about my hockey betting experience and uh, what's in general in my head. <laughs> so, uh, a little bit about me. I uh, started to play hockey when I was nine years old, uh, played in a lot of leagues in Latvia. Also played in the United States two years and, uh, and then moved back home and needed to figure out what to do with my life and uh, start to study and then back, back, got my baccalaureate degree and uh, around uh, when I was around 18 years old I started to uh, think about sports betting and uh, already then I understood that uh, it's possible to it's possible to make profit out of it and I uh, couldn't know how to do that but um, uh, it's been already 11 years since I'm there and the last four I have been profitable and uh, could start, can start to share my experience as well. So yeah, that's long story short, maybe next some videos we'll talk about more. But uh, let's move forward because we don't have that much time here and uh, we'll try to fit everything uh, in small uh, videos so there is no point to make two, two hour videos about that. So, okay, uh, about European hockey. We all know at NHL is the main league and uh, the highest liquidity that means you can bet the most, uh, the, the highest amount of money on that. But uh, in Europe, we also have, uh, in my opinion, six leagues where it's uh, uh, possible to bet uh, bigger amounts of money. Uh, KHL and uh, SM League. Uh, it's uh, SM League is from Finland. It's uh, there is the biggest uh, liquidities. Uh, there is a possibility to bet the highest amount on these leagues. Uh, then comes. Uh, Dell, Dell is the uh, third league uh, on that list, uh, and uh, all other leagues, uh, SHL, NL, and Extra League are uh, pretty much similar levels. Uh, I'm talking now about uh, Asian markets in Asia, where you can bet the uh, biggest uh, liquidities. So, uh, yeah, there is also a World Championship and Olympics, uh, which is uh, pretty much similar as. Uh, uh, NHL liquidity, so uh, it's possible to bet uh, bigger amounts of that. But uh, yeah, uh, these are top six leagues. Also, we, in Europe, so of course there is uh, the Latvian league and France, uh, Norway, Denmark, uh, Belarus. Uh, there is a lot of leagues, but uh, it's a pretty much even, uh, pretty much one level of possibility to bet on them. Uh, I have uh, tried to bet on all, all of these leagues which you see here and also I have uh, tried a lot of leagues which are not in this list but uh, but uh, it's hard, it's hard, you need to focus, you can't focus on uh, the 10 leagues, uh, you need to focus uh, if you want to be full into it and uh, you, you need to know small, all small details about that. So, uh, I've tried a lot of them, was unsuccessful, uh, but the last couple of years I stayed, as you see, only on the KHL and uh, German Dell action. So, uh, these are two leagues where I follow the most, and uh, it doesn't mean I'm a huge expert in that, I just follow them the most and uh, try to get the uh, best profits out of them. Uh, uh, KHL, KHL because there uh, are Latvian teams playing there and uh, I follow Russian hockey since I play, started to play and there's no questions about why I'm following KHL. But uh, Dell, Dell is an interesting league because it's they're playing pretty much North American style hockey and also they are uh, 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 players from teams, they are in mid-seasons, uh, in summer they are move, moving from one team to other. So basically the player is uh, still in the league, he knows the league and uh, he can uh, we can wait from the player pretty similar game what he showed in other leagues just uh, 
for example, in KHL, if player plays in uh, Moscow, then he drives to Habarovsk or Rizamur or Vladivostok or Rizadmel playing. It will be hard because there is a long trips all the time and uh, it uh, will be much harder for them. It, but basically, it's pretty much one league, but it will be huge difference. In that. Hope I could uh, give you some. Uh, so yeah, that's the reason why maybe some player came to from Germany to KHL and he came for the start to some uh, lower level team and he can't just play because it's uh, much harder, there is much uh, longer flights and uh, not, not, not like in Dell where you can uh, drive, drive by bus or by train and a uh, couple hours and you are in that place. So it's uh, pretty small but big details. So yeah. Uh, Basically, uh, four biggest mistakes uh, what uh, beginners do. Uh, first of all, it's unsorted bunker. Uh, you need to do your bunker, and uh, I already uh, tried to give a, uh, that example how I am betting. I am betting basic, based on odds, and uh, my uh, my focus is to gain. Uh, two units from uh, what my, my what I'm betting, like I need to win two units, and uh, yeah, so then 1.8 till 1.89, I'm betting three units or three percents, and uh, so on. So uh, yeah, that's the reason why a lot of people can't uh, be success successful in long term because they don't have a unsorted. Uh, sort of the uh, bunker management. It's a main thing where you, what you need when you start, you need to do that. You need to know what is your bunker roll and uh, how, how you will bet. Yeah, and uh, second biggest, one of the biggest problems is uh, chasing losing games. It's, uh, uh, it's hard, it's, uh, you need to train your brain, you need to understand that uh, losing games will come and uh, you need to you need to know how you will deal with these losing games. So, uh, it's, it's uh, a lot of uh, examples where people are betting, they, they think that the team will, uh, will, will win that game, they put more money on that or they double stake it and uh, then they lose and next bet they are bet betting even much bigger money and uh, after three days the bunker was down and uh, they are out of limits and it's betting what they gained, for example, maybe in months or in weeks, and uh, they can lose all the money in uh, just a couple of days. It's uh, it's thing what uh, it is possible, and uh, it's a huge huge mistake. So always focus on one. Uh, focus on, uh, all games are the same. There is no better games, there is no uh, weaker games, all bets are the same and uh, you can bet on one game more than you do on another. In long term it will work, it will work, I promise you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that uh, putting emotions overhead, so yeah, it's uh, basically, it's pretty much, uh, I don't suggest you, if you are starting, that I don't suggest you to bet on uh, your favorite teams. It's uh, because you are you are doing, you are dealing with uh, uh, a lot of with your emotions, and you 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 want this win, but you can't think like straight. You don't know you you can you you want this win, so you're bet on them. But pretty much maybe it's uh, not the best idea. So yeah, that's uh, the thing. What I am uh, suggesting is uh, try to. Uh, stay out of the games uh, where uh, your favorite team is playing. Just stay out of them. Uh, after some time, and you will be in betting, and you will understand, you will bet. So, for example, I, I do, uh, I try to do uh, in the last World Championship, uh, like I'm from Latvia, right? And Latvia played against uh, teams, for example, uh, Kazakhstan, uh, I think it was. The, and, and I bet on Kazakhstan's uh, handicap. So yeah, it's hard maybe to watch. It is very hard to watch. But if you, you need to know if you are, if you are like uh, betting for fun or you're betting uh, to gain something out of that. So yeah.
basically I hope it's, it will be a good thing for you. And yeah, no parlays and no combo bets. It's for uh, it's for bookie sites. It's for uh, it's for house. So don't do that, please. Yeah, I know it's a. Uh, you think you will make much bigger odds and you will come make bigger profits from that, but no, please don't do that. It's uh, it will of course singles will be much longer uh, longer shot, but uh, it will be much profitable. So don't do that. Parlays and combos are made for uh, bookie sites and to make you lose your money. Even 1.4, 1.3 odds in the European odds and. Uh, they can lose and uh, they pretty much they will lose and uh, just uh, my suggestion is stay out of that don't don't please do that <laughs> and uh, yeah and uh, yeah and uh, yeah but about um, it's pretty much about me. Uh, we know that um, human brain about the computer. Uh, bookie sites are dealing with uh, uh, how to say. Uh, we are. I am trying to make. To try, I'm trying to find something what bookies are missing. We can't. Uh, I, I don't expect uh, think that there is some. Uh, some kind of uh, models or something like that, but we can uh, make to be profitable. All these models, are these uh, scientist minds are in uh, to make uh, these odds uh, from bookies. So we need to find a way how to beat them. And the only way, in my opinion, how we can beat the bookie sites is if we know something better than they do. So uh, there is no models, there is no nothing, and just it's human brain. If you're betting, for example, my sport of uh, hockey, you need to uh, understand the game. Uh, you need to follow uh, how how teams are uh, and how fo what forms are for teams, how they are uh, doing. For example, I am not taking. For example, I, if I'm taking over on one of teams overs. In the next game, maybe I will take it over, but three games in a row, I will never take it over. It will stop and uh, it will, it won't be, uh, it's just my thing that, that I'm not doing. So, uh, pretty much, it's uh, our human brain against the computer, what we are doing here. And yeah, it's uh, there was a couple of questions also. I need to be just fast here, so sorry, it's a uh, yeah, different type. And uh, uh, there was a question: uh, if I am watching games, yeah, I am. I do watch games, but I don't know. I don't watch all the games because uh, it's too much, and you know, never. Uh, you don't need to watch all games. If you understand how teams playing, it's uh, it's in my opinion, it's nothing what you need to do. So. Uh, uh, of course, you need to know in general how teams playing, but you don't need to watch all games, in my opinion. Uh, there was a question if I, I am uh, suggesting to take over 5.5, if I am sending over 4.5. Oh, so, no, no, even not over 5, if I am sending over 4.5, and uh, it's a, the it's a bet where I see the value. So no, you don't need to check them. Uh, how I know all these leaks? I, I just uh, answered to that question in my first slide. How I know I'm living in a, kind of living in hockey since I was nine. So <laughs> I find the ways how to deal with them and. Uh, just in, I'm just uh, like hockey and uh, like to research a lot so and uh, understand odds so that's the thing in general yeah and there is some uh, links which I need uh, can, it's, so we are odds portal where I can take odds rotowire where I can see NHL starting goalies Facebook is for all and uh, 
Yeah, in general, I and all this and all these videos. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this and hope it was useful for you.